everyone, it's me, Alex, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to connect external speakers from your Yamaha P125 to external speakers. So that means it can be a smaller Bluetooth speaker like the Bose SoundLink Mini 2, or one of the bigger speakers that I have here, which is the Ion Block Rocker. So what you first want to do is, depending on the speaker you are using, if you're using like a smaller Bluetooth speaker, make sure it has an aux input, a 3.5 millimeter, and you're gonna need a 3.5 millimeter cable right here. I have one right here. And you are going to plug it in to your speaker right here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right here. Now it's connected here, but wait a minute. Let me go ahead and show you the connector on the P125. Look at the P125 and the, like in the front of the piano, you see that it says phones. So for headphones, but there's a problem. This cable that we have here from our Bluetooth speaker is a 3.5 millimeter connection. So we are going to need, let me go ahead and find my adapter right here. You're gonna need one of these adapters. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and connect it like this. And you can choose either side. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in, in this side right here. And now it should be connected. So you can see now if I push uh, the piano, there's no audio coming out of the piano. So now we have to turn on our Bluetooth speaker or just your speaker. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And you can see it's at 100% and now it says aux. So you can turn up the volume on the speaker here. As you can see, it's, oh, it's already at max, but you also have the volume on the piano to control it. So you can see, now you're hearing it on the Bose speaker or on your Bluetooth speaker, depending on what you use. And if the audio does not turn off on your P125, if there's some, there's a setting right here that says speaker. I'm gonna go ahead and get your- You would hold these two function keys right here. And then you would locate this button, speaker off. Oh, sorry, the audio is going out of the, the the speaker, but if I click here, or you can click auto. Automatic, what, all it means is that if there's a headphone connected, it sh automatically shuts off the piano speakers. But if you don't wanna, you don't want to uh, have any interruptions and just in case it does turn on, I'm gonna, you're just gonna click those two function keys and push on off. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. So the purpose, for the purpose of this video, I turned it on. So as you can see, both sides are playing. Okay, like if you're playing in an audience, you don't wanna have your P125 playing out loud in your speakers. And let's say you have it hooked up to an external speaker. You just want it to play on here. So you're gonna, the button I show you, you're gonna click on off. But if you just click off, it's just playing a note. You're gonna hold down the two function keys that I showed you earlier and off. So you can see now it's off. And now it's just the speaker or the speakers that you would have connected. So that's how it works on here. But now let's say you wanna have it to a more professional speaker. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to connect that. Now, if you have a more professional speaker that has this type of connector, it's better to use this than trying to use adapters from 3.5 to this type of connector because this is the supports. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this end to the phones of the uh, piano, which is because I already showed you for the video, but now I don't need an adapter because it's the same input. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right here. So now it's on, or I mean connected, but now I'm gonna plug it into the speaker. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the speaker. There's a switch on this side. And I'm gonna make sure the volume is down. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and turn off Bluetooth because it's not important right now. Could connect to my phone. And I'm gonna plug it into the mic input. Oops, pushed it back. And I'm gonna just gonna go turn this, turn this up halfway. And then I'm gonna turn up my volume here. And now if I push the key, you can hear it on that. Okay, so now it's working. If you already have the volume or the speaker set to off, oh. it should never turn on the piano speakers anymore. Even if I was, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off right here and I'm gonna remove the connector from the piano. There's no audio anymore. So you would have to automatically switch it, oops, sorry, back on oh. or switch it to automatic. So you can see right now, I'm gonna show you automatic. So you can see it's playing right now because I don't have anything connected to the P125. But now if I connect my connector to the piano, and again, turn up my volume. Or right now, I'm gonna keep this speaker muted because you can see now I'm playing and there's no audio anymore because I have it on automatic. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the speaker volume. And there you go, now you can hear the uh, uh, speaker. So as you can see if I was to play something. louder than your P125. So now I'm gonna play that same song on the P125, but now on the P125 speakers. I'm just, instead of unplugging, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn them on manually. Uh -huh. This is full volume. <laughs> This 
bass function is totally optional. If you just want to use the piano speakers, you can go ahead and do that. But if you want to plug it into a louder speaker, you can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Helpful. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.